Hello everyone. Hello from Texas. I wanted to talk to you today about Donald J. Trump, God's man of the hour. Now, if you remember history, if you were taught history, uh, the people in Washington, D.C., uh, they did away with all history in school. There's only one kind of history taught now, and they sure don't teach about World War II and the different presidents that really made the difference in our world and the, the men in our world that were considered God's man of the hour. Now, in talking about this, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking of Winston Churchill. Sir Winston Churchill was God's man of the hour. He was put there for a reason. Okay, now, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, he was God's man of the hour. He was put there for a reason. Okay. John Fitzgerald Kennedy was God's man of the hour. Him and his brother both were put there for a reason. But the ones in charge in Washington, D.C. had him murdered and his brother and had them removed because they were not going along with their agenda. The warmongers wanted to continue the war. They're making all kinds of money. Uh, I believe they said that when Lyndon Bain Johnson, who I believe is the one that, uh, that ordered the hit on Kennedy with the CIA and the FBI, ATF, uh, you know, the list goes right on, but that's, that's another video. But you, you understand what I'm telling you. Okay, now, the man, God's man of the hour, was also Ronald Reagan. He came on the scene and, and just changed everything. Okay. Well, now, fast forward to 2016. God's man of the hour was and is Donald J. Trump. And we know how the election was stolen in 2020. We know what they did. We all went to sleep at night, and uh, Donald J. Trump was 850,000 votes ahead, and we all woke up the next morning, and the Democrats found big old duffel bags loaded with uh, votes just laying out in the street. And the only name on the votes was, was Joe Biden. There wasn't anything else checked off. What a scam. How did these people get away with what they did. And remember when the Republicans, they were supposed to be monitoring things? They just closed the blinds on them. Then all that video, you know, showed them pulling duffel bags and suitcases out from underneath the tables, going over there and running them over and over again through those crooked machines that they brought in. Remember that? Yeah. Well, our man of the hour is Donald J. Trump. I'm voting for him. And I'll tell you one thing, in my opinion, he is our forever president, as far as I'm concerned. This man will restore America to the status that it deserves, that these people that did what they did in the election in 2020 and put the people that were never supposed to be in Washington, D.C., they put them in there. I'm going to tell you something right now. Donald J. Trump, I firmly believe, is God's man of the hour. Pray for Donald J. Trump, because he needs our prayers. Remember what they did to John Kennedy and his brother, Bobby Fitzgerald Kennedy. They had them removed from the earth because they weren't going along with their agenda. Anybody that bucks the system on these people, these tyrants, these dictators in Washington, they will have them removed. Remember that eyewitness that was going to be testifying against the Clintons? Washington, D.C., they shot him in the back. He was running, trying to get away from those people they sent after him. They shot him right in the back, killed him right there in Washington, D.C. Remember that? No, they don't want you to remember that. You're not going to hear it on the media. The media's covering up for them people up there. Why? 
because of bribes. That's why. Look at our Department of Justice. It's been bribed and bought off years ago. And it's still bought off. Look at James Comey, that FBI director that was given $50 million, and that was channeled through Lockheed Martin to make it look like he, you know, was on the board, you know, make, making money that he was doing something. He wasn't doing anything. The money came from the Clinton Foundation. It was his payoff, and he got away with it. He even wrote a book. You ought to read his book he's got out. He bragged about what he did to, to President Trump. He's a traitor. James Comey's a traitor. As far as I'm concerned, that man, now that's my opinion, okay? That's my opinion. And my opinion also is that Donald J. Trump is God's man of the hour. Come on November 5th, 2024, and actually, come on January 2025, when he will be back in office. You have a good day. Uh, please hit the like button, and I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Make America great again. God bless America, and God bless President Donald J. Trump. Goodbye from Texas. Have a good day.